Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Mega Millions loser. 2018 Topps Allen Ginger Baseball is a winner, though. Four box, random team break number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Let's double you guys up, Sir Mixalot style. One of these days we'll put Sir Mixalot in Ginter. Tigers and Rays are there, plus the all other spot, non sport or non baseball uh, or non baseball team, other, the catch all category. Right there. Actually, a great category. Three and a two, five times for each list. One, two, three, four. And fifth and final time, after five times, we've got John H. down to Justin Gutting. Once again, three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four. And fifth and final time, good luck. After five times, we've got the Giants up top and the Royals on the bottom. All right, John H. with the Giants. Mark, Boombox with the Twins. John H. with the Brewers and the Mets. Justin Gutting with the Red Sox. Jarrett with the Padres. John with the Reds. Rick T. with the Strohs. Justin Gutting with the non-sport, non-baseball, and other category. Nice. Sen Yin, Blue Jays, Orioles, Pirates. Jarrett K. Last spot, Mojo. Rangers and Indians. Jarrett with the A's. Jerry with the Cardinals. Mark with the Nationals. Jerry with the White Sox. Mark with the Phillies. Rick T. with the Marlins. Mark with the Diamondbacks. Stephen K. Mariners. Justin Gutting, Yankees. And the Tigers Rays combo. TJ Poyer with my Dodgers. Stephen K with the Cubs. Sen Yin with the Rockies. Justin Gutting with the Braves. Angels for TJ Poyer. And Justin Gutting with the KC Royals. Be Royals, Royals. You can be my queen bee. All right. Trade if you'd like. Um, Random Team 6 is the last third. Of that case we popped open, we'll put uh, we'll put another random team break up on the site either tonight or tomorrow. And I guess it's a good time right now to remind everybody to so make sure that you are at the current point of the stream. Just to maximize your experience at Jaspi's Hobby, then read the uh, public service announcements in the chat so you're not lagging behind. It's a little uh, warm in here. Crank up that AC. All right, looks like no trade, so we'll, we, we shall continue. Trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. We'll save those until the end. Here's the official printout. It's the final list on the 20th, Friday. Nice busy night on a Friday, so I appreciate everybody hanging out with me. You guys could be doing anything. You guys are all, we broadcast from coast to coast and all around the world. And I know every, we got people shopping with us from everywhere. And I appreciate you spending a little bit of your Friday night with me, ladies and gentlemen. Your weekend. Not my weekend, this is my Thursday. Tomorrow is my Friday.
And looks like the Dodgers have beat the Brewers in Milwaukee on Manny Machado's debut, boys and girls. Manny Machado, how did he do today? I think he did pretty well today. Two for three and two walks is Dodger debut. Not too shabby at all. Dodgers win 6-4. 1-0 oh in the Machado era. Dustin Hughes saying Orioles fans are salty about the situation. Why are they salty? Salty at the ownership? At the GM? Knowing that they should have moved Machado last summer to get... A lot of prospects, or even more from him. Could have been a better deal amongst current teams, maybe, I guess. Dustin saying, Diaz isn't Machado. Yeah, we should be more angry at the front office, though. Uh, yeah, Dustin's, I hate the management. They, you guys should have moved, Orioles should have moved Machado last season. And Zach Britton before before like he had that elbow issue. All right, there's Conseco Mini. Yeah, Kip's an O's guy. I don't, I don't know if Kip is uh, is salty per se about Machado leaving. He was traded. He, I think he's definitely with you about hating the man management, though. I mean, that's the that's the real crux of it. All right, behind Judge, mini autograph, rookie autograph, Dylan Peters. That's for the Marlins and Rick T. Rick on the board. Speaking of Machado, there he is. Where'd that mini go? I gotta save that mini card. There's the Judge Mini. We gotta look on the backs of those. Let me see if some of those are numbered. Now, if we're playing, uh, if we're playing Allen and Ginter Bingo, I feel like there's a lot that we still haven't seen yet, right? Let me pull up the CardboardConnection.com checklist really quick. Obviously, we've got base cards. We've seen the silver glossies. We've seen cloth. Um, we've not seen the metal. We've not seen many non-baseball autographs. We've not seen any employee autographs. We have definitely not seen a book, TJ. You're right. Relics, obviously, these other main, like, regular stuff we've seen. We've not seen any framed, the very hard-to-get ones, the mini DNA relics. There's Nelson Cruz. The dino, dinosaur tooths, teeth. But I guess the most common the more common one that we could possibly expect to see would be a book. You're right. We've seen all these inserts. We've seen rip cards. We have not seen a double rip card, though. I think we've seen most everything else. Obviously, all the inserts we've seen. Some of the postage I think we haven't seen. Some of the indig uh, indigenous heroes, we haven't seen all of those. Folio of fears. I don't think we've seen a lot of folio of fears. We haven't seen, like, an autograph box topper or anything like that. So, box loader. But yeah, I think the I think the book would be the the sort of more realistic, like non super short printed one that we could expect to see. Book. 
save one of those Otanis. I don't think I've seen any of the glow-in-the-dark minis either. Should be able to kind of get a feel for it, but have not seen one yet. Yeah, those mini, the 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 dinosaur teeth are one in ten thousand. Yeah, I'm, I don't really expect to see one. It'd be nice. I don't, not really expecting to see one, but I feel like we've done a lot of a lot of boxes though. I think I think a book is not out of the question to to chase to hope for. Right, there was box number one. Do all the good autos in the Allen and Ginter hit and rip cards? No, not necessarily. I think some of the shorter printed, like those red ink autos, some ones that are like especial, yeah, I mean, you're going to find those in the rip cards. But I still think you can find, like, if I look at just like the mini autographs, you can still get like the non baseball autographs, and you can find out of 25s in those. You can find a black frame out of 25s in the frame baseball autographs and stuff too. So yeah, I mean, you've got the, the, the usual opportunity to get the usual names. All right, so nothing hand numbered here. I wonder whose job it is at Tops, some intern maybe, to hand number the backs of those cards. Nice. You got a Walker Bueller and Strawberry out of 25 from normal packs. It's pretty good. <clears throat> I think we, we've been seeing, definitely seeing a lot more Walker Bueller in these later latest products. At least in um, Donner's Optic. I feel like we've seen one in almost every case we've done. Maybe, maybe there was only one without, but it's supposed to be the real deal. I think they're... Dodgers are definitely are definitely babying him this season. He's coming off of Tommy John, so he's got innings limits and whatnot. And I've, I've got a couple uh, little injuries here and there, little knocks here and there. So I think he's just trying to work through that. But they should unleash him. They should unleash him next year. Yeah, his autos aren't too high right now. Sat yeah, possibly a saturated market. I don't know. I think, in general, you know, I I I think I think unless uh, I think pitchers have a little bit softer market, hobby wise, so that's probably another reason why. Gavin, hey Joe, are there no more Donner Spigger team? There are. I just haven't posted it yet. Break five sold out. I'll probably post it after I do this break. But we'll we'll do one. Uh, I'll post it soon. I'm not in a rush because we're not gonna be able to break that until tomorrow anyway. All right. Um, oh, let me drop the schedule. In case you're just joining us, folks, we are full for the night. So there's our schedule right there. Uh, Phillies. How much are the Phillies usually in this in a in a optic break? Well, they're usually Gavin about eight or nine hundred dollars. 
But we've discounted them to fifty nine ninety nine. What a deal. What a deal. Nice, Jeannie Bouchard. Oh, uh, true. Actually, you're right, William. Um, if you're looking at the schedule and you're and um, and you'll note that it's I, I'm gonna say good night after the optic break, but I will be down to do a autograph hockey puck break or ultimate collection if it fills. Otherwise, everything else will be for tomorrow. There's Theo Epstein for the Cubbies. That'll be for Stephen K. This person swam across the Atlantic Ocean without a kickboard? Not all at once, though. Just like totally like diminishing an amazing accomplishment. It's like, yeah, but he went on a boat and went to sleep and then woke up and swam again. 3 out of 25 autograph for the Royals, Justin Gutting. With Bo Jackson. Wow. Nice mini autograph. There you go, Justin. In the last third of this random case. That is strong. He might have used, it didn't say if he used floaties or not, William L. This is true. All right, there's Chris with a K. Right, boombox, lame. I agree, he only swam six hours a day next to a boat and it took 73 days. Some swimmer he is. I'll bet, I'll bet Michael Phelps would have done it in a couple weeks. All right, nothing numbered there. Obviously, all the minis will ship. They're, they're a special. All right, two boxes to go. <laughs> right? Mark, Mark Glassman saying, Boombox is saying, how boring of a job would that be? The person driving that boat at two miles per hour. For 73 days. And then the rest of the time, like at night, boombox, right? They just they just drop anchor and they have to just sit there, right? Because they have to say they have to start the same position the next day. Oh. Most boring trip ever. 
Like if you're in the literally in the middle of the Atlantic, like after Bermuda, you take a right turn at Bermuda, then it's just like, all right, boring. That's an easy money job to drive that boat? Yeah, I guess. It might drive me crazy, though, Stephen K. Is there internet on that? There's got to be internet on that boat. I guess with internet, it'd be okay. Take a picture every day of what you see outside. It would just be, it would just be water and then that horizon over there and then just sky. That'd be it. I think this is the gloss. Yeah, this is the glossy box. So all the glossy cards will ship. I guess it'd be. Yeah, you're right. It'd be easy money, but I don't know. If you're a if you're a cap if you're a, a a pilot of a boat, you know. And 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 you you grew up since childhood. You know, you grew up since childhood, loving boats, and the open ocean and the sea. Right, and you're like, yeah. I'm all about the ocean, the sea, and piloting boats across the Atlantic. I, I, I think most of those guys, most of those men and women are probably thinking that they want to go faster than two miles per hour. Joe Flor says, I wouldn't believe driving a boat for someone swimming is a paying job. You'd be surprised at what jobs exist <laughs> in this world. All right, so I'll set these gloss. So you can see right here that these glossy cards are definitely different than, just so you can see the difference right here, than the matte finish, more the flatter finish on this one right here. You can see the studio light on both of those. So there's one, usually one box per case that's like this. So we set those aside. And then we got Chipper Jones. Piece of his lumber. Nice. Braves, Justin Gutting. The minis are not glossy. These inserts are not glossy. Everything else is, in case you were wondering. There he is again. This guy. Watch, he's watching the stream and he's being like, come on, jerk. I'm raising money for cancer as a tribute to my late father. All right, all right. It's a good cause, I guess. I tell if these are these are from the front if these are numbered we saw that Derek Jeter one of one that was glossy I guess it would sit I don't know maybe our ship I'll have my I'll have the shipping team take a look at the backs of those make sure some of those aren't numbered come on mini cards Those inserts aren't glossy either. Christian Yelich, Brew Crew. That'll be for John H. Mike Zunino. Saw Derek Jeter, one of one. It's not going to be a one of one. I don't know why I looked. We got Starling Marte, piece of his jersey, going to Sen Yin and the Pirates. Yar. Scope next to Machado.
Still haven't seen the glow-in-the-dark ones either. All the mini ships, so let me know if you get a mini and then you're like, Oh, that was a glow-in-the-dark one, Joe. Maybe take a picture. Maybe at Jazby's Hobbyland. Twitter. I don't want to mix those guys up. All right, minis on the back. And the final box. Final box coming up. Not final boss. Not like a video game. Final box. Did you know, speaking of final bosses, like in a video game, did you know that um, uh, the, the old, uh, the Korean closer for, uh, for the Cardinals, Oh, Suwon Oh, back in Korea when he was closing, his nickname, I don't know what, I actually don't know what it is in Korean, I should ask my mom or something like that, but um, the... Uh, his nickname was Final Boss, which is kind of cool for a closer. Like, like, yeah, that's the final boss. Like, try to beat him. You're not going to be able to beat him. Not like some lame level boss, right? But the final boss. Pretty boss. I thought that was a cool nickname. I don't think he's been the final boss for a little bit, though. I don't know. He had a great he had a great year or two with the Cardinals. I think he had a great year as like a setup guy, eighth inning guy, and then had a great year as a closer, and then sort of fell apart the next year. It's I think injuries were part of it, but he, for whatever reason, it just just wasn't quite the same. And then I think he's in Toronto now. I think he's doing decently as, as the setup guy again, but just some, something happened. Right, yeah, if you that been it would have been a cool nickname if he wanted to be a hall if he was to be a Hall of Famer. Joe Flores, I agree. Alas, I don't think that's gonna happen. That Geico commercial with uh, where, where the Geico commercial, the soccer one, <clears throat> where the guy just continuously slides around and he just slides all around the pitch, I think it's really funny. And like the announcer <laughs> with all the soccer cliches, pressure, what pressure? All right. Boombox says, I remember one year Alan and Ginter had uh, flower minis that you could plant. Well, that's what we do, Boombox. Every year, Alan and Ginter send us a big, uh, Top sends us a big box of uh, Alan and Ginter seeds, and we plant them out in the big hit garden in the back. And then we, we spend a year cultivating it and growing it. And then we harvest it, and here it is. Here it is for your pleasure. It's a good harvest this year. So Nick Jaspi goes out in the back. We all we all do. We garden it, flower it, water it all year long. There's Corey Seager. And when I go grab the case, I go out to the garden in the back and pluck a, a case of Ginter right off the Ginter tree.
Farm to break table, folks. Our, our breaks are all about farm to your break table. <laughs> farm to break table. That's what we're all about. The freshest breaks on this side of the Mississippi. There's Noah Syndergaard, piece of his jersey, going to John H. Silver Stagger says he needs one of those those trees. Uh, it's hard. It's difficult. That that that's that's what uh, not everyone can be a case breaker, right? Because not everyone can grow the uh, you know you got, you got to have the right kind of green thumb to grow all these breaks properly. You screw it up, and then you get then you get 2013 Spectra football. And we've got a rip card. Four out of 50. Mark Glassman, Diamondbacks. To rip or not to rip? That is the question. Dustin Hughes says, rip it. Nope, says Boombox. He's, no, no rip. Sorry, you guys. That's his prerogative. Um, our old buddy Michael Gabai was saying that you could, you could take a Bell and Howell attack light and shine it right into the thing, right into the card, you might be able to see what's inside. Rex wants it ripped. All right. And there he is. There's Michael G. I love those, uh, I love those Bell and Howell attack light commercial, by the way. You know, the guy, the guy's like, this civilian flashlight puts out pathetic light. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and you look at your old flashlight, it takes like the old big double C batteries, and you're like, eh, those C battery, that doesn't look cool at all. That Bell and Howell attack light, you can freeze that in a block of ice. I wish we were sponsored by, Bell and Howell, if you're listening, we would love to sponsor, be sponsored by your tack lights and your other the entire line of Bell and Howell products, including the the sunglasses, and the, there's Babe Ruth for the Yankees. Antarctica will go to the non-sport, non-baseball other spot for Justin. We've got chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. We haven't seen any like autographs or anything like that on that one. And then our final one is All Rise, Aaron Judge. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was random team break number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. There will be more. There are pick your teams too. So thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you for the next break. Bye-bye.